we are talking about automatic emergency braking, also known as AEB. And this technology is available in some vehicles, but it's never been standardized at the federal level and at higher speeds. In an exclusive interview with NBC News, Tom Costello, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg, estimates that this technology will save approximately 362 lives a year, prevent 24,000 injuries, and head off billions of dollars in damage. The new standard requires all cars to be able to stop and avoid contact with a vehicle in front of them up to 62 miles per hour. And the systems must detect pedestrians in both daylight and darkness. In addition, the system must apply the brakes automatically up to 90 miles an hour when a collision is imminent, 45 miles when a pedestrian is detected. It's especially important because the data are showing us that about 75% of pedestrian and uh, bicycle fatalities happen after dark. And one great thing about these newer technologies is they're not as limited as we are. Uh, the different kinds of sensors can see people or other things in the path of a car day and night. All the more reason to make sure that this is a requirement and that every vehicle has them. Now, as with any new technology added to cars, there is a cost. The DOT estimates about $82 per vehicle. The DOT is allowing automakers a little time before this is a full requirement. However, he said it needs to be ready by the end of this decade. This has been in the works for some time. Uh, so the automakers know the, the, the basic framework here. They just now need to meet a new standard and again, make it available for everybody. If there's a technology that is this life-saving, we don't want it to be only available to those who can afford it as a bell and whistle. We wanna make sure every car rolling off the line has this capability. What this new ruling really does is just level the playing field so that whatever AEB is in your vehicle, it will meet the new federal standards across the board. The ruling applies to nearly all U.S. light vehicles of 10,000 pounds or less. Back to you.